Hey, what's up, what's up? It's your boy VJ Skyro right here at the Tank Palace Hotel in Accra, Ghana. It's all about the legendary rapper of Braff Wars, Paimuka at Twitty Lunch tonight. Yes, right. So we're going to be jamming. We're going to be having a good time. We're going to be talking to your favorite superstars who are right here and all that. So make sure you keep it locked right here. Don't touch it. We got the juiciest stuff for you guys. That's what even caught my attention the most. Was the Obrafo Frontier Foundation talks about the fact that that's education is the only means that a rich man's son and a poor man's son can all converge at one place Natural. and give the poor man's son a chance yeah. to also be like the rich man. So the Obrafo Frontier let us educate our rural folks. That's what caught my attention the most to also get involved, and this is going to be awesome. I, I'm sure there are quite a number of sponsors watching from a distance and they're like, okay, um, Create has decided to be part of this. Does it mean they have enough money to take care of everything? <laughs> are we allowed to bring other sponsors on board? Of course, of course. I mean, Obrafo is a big brand. Create is just in partnership with Obrafo, but we need a lot of uh, companies 
as well, a lot of support from various uh, corporate entities. And if you want to associate yourself with a brand, that will actually push your brand. Abra4 is the one to associate yourself with. A clean artist, respectful, very polite, humble, and I mean, this is this is the whole package. This is the whole package. And for 20 years, it's called our trade and package. Yeah. For 20 years, this man hasn't seen any scandal. This is a brand for He's not like his brother. Yeah. He's loved by all. I follow this man to very prominent people, ministers, rebels, and they see him and they want to take a picture with him. Because this oh, is Hold on, hold on, hold on. Paparazzi, I want to take a picture with you. Yo, he Yo, yo, D, what up, guys? Yo, yo, talk to us, man. The first time I ever recorded in a big studio. Was it with me? Was no. It was courtesy of Hammer and Obrafo. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. At Hasha Studios. Yeah. They gave me eight lines. <laughs> it was on the execution diary. That was the mixtape Obrafo put out after a primal guy, I think. About 16 years ago. That's right. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much, boss. I just like everybody to know that. I was in Spintex Road when I first came. Yeah, <laughs> Big up sign over in the building. When I first heard that the Primal Car album was out and I rushed out, got a little change. To how how, how old were you? I was about Good. Make it come forward. 15, 16 years old. I don't go like that. And uh, I got some spare change to go across the street. This guy who sold um, cassettes. Those times we use cassettes, you know, the CDs or no, it was cassettes. And I ran across, I had my small Walkman with me and I put the tape in it. Feeling that guy. Around 6 o'clock. Yeah, it was about. Then I didn't go home again. I ended up walking around, 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 just listening to this classic. And that tape changed my life. So I just wanted to join me in congratulating this gentleman over here. For keeping our music industry and no way anybody else can have. Boys, we salute you. Thank you so much. Blagging on the swag, blagging on the rap, blagging on the best that you can put it on the track. Blagging on the fact that it be always paying facts. Maybe because you got a whole city on the back. Things doing crap, and I'm snapping. I'm ready to be home, Yeah. yeah. 
Thank you.